open his curtains for him so he can see God's beautiful work. And he'll know that even things like this happen for the best. What do they teach you to talk like this in some Panama City sailor want a hump hump bar? Sell crazy someplace else. We're all stocked up here. TriStar Pictures invites you to meet a truly appalling individual. He's a freak show. He's the worst person I ever met. Help! If you want to see me, you will make an appointment. Dr. Green, how can you diagnose someone as an obsessive compulsive disorder and then act as though I had some choice about barging in? You have messed your last floor. <laughs> Have you, have, you, uh, have you seen my dog with a little little face? Little... Uh-oh. You have no idea what your work means to me. How do you write women so well? I think of a man, and I take away reason and accountability. Melvin, wait! Melvin, wait! Shut up, kids! Melvin, wait! Definitely a package you don't want to open or touch. Pay me a compliment, Melvin. I need one. Quick. I love you. You make me want to be a better man. That's maybe the best compliment of my life. From Academy Award winner James L. Brooks. Well, maybe I overshot a little because I was aiming at just enough to keep you from walking out. <laughs> <laughs> Comes a story about how the people you can't live with. Uh, Carol the waitress, Simon the fag. Become the people you can't live without. We all have these terrible stories to get over, and you... It's not true. Some of us have great stories, pretty stories, that take place at lakes with boats and friends and noodle salad. Just no one in this car. Jack Nicholson, Helen Hunt, Greg Kinnear, and Cuba Gooding Jr. I love you. I tell you, buddy, I'd be the luckiest guy alive if that did it for me. As good as it gets.